In an earlier video, um, I was working on that Sencor capacitor tester and I was checking the ripple voltage on the uh, rectifier and filter caps and my Agilent U1242 here uh, was kind of freaking out when I changed it to AC. Um, so I got out, um, if you remember, um, a scope to take a look at what was really there and it looked like like I'd expect, there's just a couple volts peak to peak of uh, a filter ripple. Nothing, nothing exciting, but um, this Agilent was really having a problem with it. Uh, the DC value, it read that okay. So I thought today I would uh, see if I can figure out what is up with that. If it's something about that meter, or maybe I should have not had it on auto range. Uh, so we're going to find out. So what I have here is I have the... Uh, the Agilent U1242A uh, um, from the prior video and then I dug out a couple other meters I have and we're gonna see uh, see what they do so the the next one we have here is this Gold Star uh, DM311 that I've had since the 90s and it's it's kind of my garage meter and then I have this off-brand uh, Scope DVM 638 that I've had since 1985 and it's actually my first first meter I ever had. Uh, it's uh, some unknown make from Taiwan that we got from a tool catalog long ago. And then we're going to compare that to these two uh, benchtop meters. So on the top we got a Fluke 45 and below that we have a Fluke 8840A. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make a similar situation that we have with the Sencor. And so what I found is uh, some parts to make a very simple um, DC, so high voltage DC supply um, that should have some ripple on it. So I've got this little transformer here that, uh, can't really read that, but uh, it's a, uh, a step up transformer and the label says 100 volts AC on the primary, 350 on the output at 4 milliamps. So it's not a very high current one, but that it'll suffice for what we want to do. And then I have uh, this used 800 volt rated uh, bridge rectifier IC. And I got a couple of 100k ohm power resistors. And then I've got this uh, 0.22 microfarad filter cap. So then I'm going to attach the primary of the transformer using my death cord up to uh, up to this variac so that we can adjust um, the output of this thing um, so we'll get a DC value on it with some AC ripple and then we'll uh, see what each of these meters um, is going to report on that all right uh, we'll be back after I, uh, I build this up and we can try checking it out all right um, we're back I have wired up my test circuit um, to check out these meters and maybe you can figure out um, why this U1242 was kind of freaking out earlier. Um, at any rate, so here we have a, a quick schematic of what we have. So we got the AC power coming in and then it's going um, to a variac. And the variac is that right there. So we'll be able to adjust the voltage with the knob. And then we have power from the variac going to the transformer, which is this guy. And then we have a full wave bridge rectifier here, which as we seen earlier was this black package device underneath. And then we have a filter capacitor, which is the blue one, the 0.22 microfarad. And then our load is these pair of 100K resistors, power resistors. And those are these underneath of here. So there really isn't enough capacitance on a, on a load like this um, to get it real clean. So there's quite a bit of ripple on this. I, I mean, I have had this hooked up and working. I've looked at it. And it's, it's just for test purposes. Um, I wanted... A healthy amount of DC voltage with some significant AC ripple that we could compare what these meters all measure. All right, so I think I'd started out with you know probably the most expensive meter 
as its original list price in my collection here, this this Fluke 8840A from the in the from the 90s, uh, which is a quite high uh, high resolution meter. And I've uh, I've already set this so that we get about 400 volts DC here with some AC content. So what I'm going to do, I've already got the meter connected um, to the plus minus here, and we're going to turn on the variac, and then we're going to see what we get. All right, all right, that doesn't look right. Why is that? Oh, obviously. Uh, we have our uh, 400 400 ish volts DC here and now if I change this meter to AC mode it's it's measuring you know something about 17 volts AC um, and we and it doesn't have any any problems with it it's not doing anything crazy it seems okay um, in the meantime if we look at the scope here um, get the glare out of the way. Um, the scope's saying about 70 volts peak to peak on the on that AC ripple, which is uh, sitting at about a 400 volt base. Um, seems a little off. I know this scope on this range has a little bit of a problem with some DC offsets, so there there might be some issues with the scope on this range. But you get an idea what the what the kind of a waveform there is. On the output of this filter. All right, so I'm going to move on to the the next fluke meter here. And before I do that, I'm I'm not going to unclip this. I'm just going to shut this off because it's a little safer. All right, so I'm going to unclip this um, from the meter over here, and we're going to move on to the next one. All right, I, I just moved the test leads from the bottom bench meter to the top meter. Um, I didn't want to waste time on the camera with that. So let's turn this back on and see what we get. All right, so if we're in volts DC mode, um, again, we have a little over 400 volts. I think the one on the bottom was saying like 403 or something. Um, this one's saying 405. If we change to AC mode, we again have you know about 17-ish volts. Um, kind of depends on. I'm not. I think the bottom meter has true RMS option on it, but the top one does not. I'm not sure without looking, looking these specific specs up on these. Um, but they are you know reasonably similar, and the meter is not you know having. Um, it's not freaking out on the whole issue. All right, I'm going to shut this off, and we'll start moving on to the handheld meters and see what we get with those. All right, so we have this uh, this old off-brand uh, bench meter or handheld meter that I've had for almost 40 years now, and we'll see what it does uh, with the same settings. So let's turn the Variac back on, and we are in DC mode. So this one is saying uh, 403 volts DC. So let's change it to uh, AC voltages by pushing this one in and that's saying about 16 so let's reduce the range and it's also saying about 16 volts so it, it fairly well agrees with those two flukes two fluke bench meters it's a lot of the you know it's not whacked out on you know it's on you know reasonably close to that all right so let's shut this off and uh, let's move on to the next one all right, now we've moved on to the Gold Star uh, DM311. I have it in DC mode right now, and let's turn on the uh, Variac again. So again, we have a little over 400 volts, uh, very much like uh, we've got with the other meters. Um, let's, uh, I'm not sure how good of an idea it is to run through the low ranges here, but let's go to there quickly. And okay, again we have you know 16 or so volts. Let's see if we change it to the 20 volt range. That doesn't seem to work. That's not correct. So I'm not sure what's up with that. Um, 
but this reasonably agrees with uh, all the other meters up till now um, on the AC value of that ripple voltage there. Alright, so our final meter is going to be the, the original meter that I was noticing some weird problems with. Um, so I'm going to shut this off, we'll move on to that meter and we'll investigate that one. Alright, so we've moved on to the final meter which is the one that was that started this whole thing when I was looking at that um, capacitor tester and it was uh, kind of freaking out when I was trying to measure the AC ripple on the filter capacitors. Alright, so this is the final meter. I haven't changed anything on anything else and we've gone through these other meters here. Alright, let's turn the variac back on to uh, we should get our 400 volts. Yep, we got our, about our little over 400 volts DC here um, as expected. So what I had done in that other video was like, oh, I want to see the AC ripple. So this thing is set up to uh, AC-DC by pushing the shift button. And again, it is freaking out on this. Look at that. It seems like it overranges. It's going crazy. So I'm wondering if it's something with auto range. And so I'm going to investigate. Let's just try pushing this. Let me change hands. This auto range here and see what happens. So oh, that takes a while. So now it's slowly settling out on a different range of about 18 volts. It's not freaking out anymore. Let's change ranges one more time. Okay, we get about 14, 13 volts here. Oops. Dropped out altogether this time. Nothing. Um, Hmm. Okay. Now it's nothing. And now we have about 17 volts. So a thousand volt range. Uh, hmm. Interesting. 1000 volt range, it settles about 19 volts. Okay, so, okay, this is a 1000 millivolt range, so that would be overranging. So maybe it just refuses to read it if it's overranged. This is a 10 volt range, now that I'm looking at the display more closely, it's, it's reading zero again. 100 volt range, yeah, it's about 17 volts, so it reasonably agrees with the other meters, you know, within a couple volts. 1,000 volt range. Hmm. So it seems like uh, something about the, maybe the way it calculates the true RMS value here is, uh, um, you know, part, partly to explain the, uh, erratic behavior and if you don't have it in a fixed range and it's auto ranging. Um, anyone in the comments want to comment about that I'd be interested to hear your thoughts because uh, it's very interesting. I, I looked at the manual for this thing I've owned it since new and there really isn't much of a discussion in there about this kind of a problem. Alright so it seems like maybe it's just something to do with the way the meter software works with the way it measures things and auto ranging um, and it's not really the meter going you know as a problem per se um, if you got it in the right range it reasonably agrees with all these other meters old and you know much older meters you know that uh, don't really have I mean not really, even if they're auto ranging, they're not necessarily true RMS, so their software operates differently. So I'm not seeing the same issue. Um, certainly, there isn't a real problem with having over a thousand volts, um, which was kind of, you know, getting me concerned on that other video when I was probing there, and it seemed like, well, that's insane. Um, at any rate, so. Um, Interesting experiment to compare all these meters to see what they're reporting on the same waveform. Um, of this very simple 
little uh, rectifier filter circuit with a lot of ripple uh, ripple voltage on it. All right, all for now.